Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video we will be discussing my luxury regrets, the items that I regret purchasing and I did come up with a, a list of some pointers and tips that I found I was doing for myself and hopefully to better inform you guys so that you guys don't make the same mistakes I did. Um, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. One quick reminder before we start though is that the giveaway is still going on. It ends October 11th at midnight Eastern time. So by the time I put this up, it should be this on Sunday. So you have still one full day and good luck to everyone that has entered and the details will be provided down below. So definitely check out the description. And now let's get started. My first luxury regret, and it's not really a regret, but just realizing that I don't actually use the items I'm buying. And that is, and I have a bunch of them, a flat card holder. I've purchased a lot of these flat card holders because I love the colorways and I and I still do love the colorways, but I just realized I need to start purchasing them in an LCLG that I actually use. So I found with my personal style that I use the Zippy and the Snap card holder the most versus these flat card holders. One thing I realized was just because you love the color, if it doesn't fit your functionality, so with me, I get scared of card holders. I don't like to overstuff them, so then it makes me not want to use them because I just like to be able to put as many cards as I want and not have the the doubts of, am I stretching the leather? Is it going to, you know, not go back into place? So I just found that the other two styles work a lot better for me versus the flat style. My next luxury regret is purchasing items that don't fit my wardrobe. And I will give you a prime example here. It is my pink Gucci Brixton's. I've had these for about three years. And as you can see, barely worn. I could probably count the amount of times I've worn them on my hand. And one of the reasons is because they just didn't fit the outfits that I was wearing. I just, I got these mainly as a work shoe and maybe that was where I went wrong in thinking that this color could be like a work color versus maybe it is a more casual, I wear it on the weekends and I can wear it with jeans. But when it came to work, I kept them in my work desk and these were my work shoes, but they never actually got worn because I just never felt they looked good with any outfit I was wearing. So that was something that going forward, I realized I need to really stick with neutrals because I like to wear blue, navies, blacks, grays, and a pop of color is nice, but it's just a little more difficult for me to wear. The next luxury mistake is purchasing something that is just too big. And I feel like we've all been there, whether it's shoes, clothes, for me it had been to be jewelry as well. And one of the first things that I purchased probably five, six years ago, and I was so excited to purchase it. It was one of my first few luxury pieces and it was a David Yerman cable bracelet. I'll put it up here just so you guys can get a visual because I ended up selling it, so I do not have it anymore. But I wish the sales associate at the time, and I purchased it from Bloomingdale's, really kind of guided me on the sizing because I ended up getting a medium when really I should have been a small because the medium was just too big. So I never ended up actually wearing it. I probably wore it a few times for the for like the five years that I owned it because it just didn't fit. So I never got the wear out of it. I didn't enjoy wearing it. And it was just really upsetting because it was something that if I knew, if I was more, you know, educated on that there was different sizings or you know trying different sizes i feel like i just picked it and that was it it wasn't like hey you want to get a small or you know maybe test this size out it was more so like here you here you go and that's it so if i was more informed and educated on you know the bracelet i was choosing instead of just going and purchasing it i would have made a better informed decision overall and i feel like i made the same mistake again a few years later I went to the Real Real and I purchased an Armas Kelly leather bracelet. And again, I'll put it up here because I ended up selling it as well. But I got it and I really liked it. But again, it was just too big. So it would actually wrap around and it would keep spinning. And it just was super annoying to wear that way. So I ended up actually selling it. So something that I realized that I need to really think about before purchasing is, does it fit me? And I mean, I think that's just like, should be like a basic question. But when you're learning about these luxury items, you're just looking at the piece and you're like, oh, this is really pretty and not realizing that they actually come in different sizes. You know, like I, cause like you think of like a necklace and it's kind of like a one size, maybe you can extend the chain, but it's pretty much, you know, it is what it is. So that was something that, you know, when I was first starting to get into luxury items and purchasing them 
that was some a, a definitely a big mistake that I made and, and unfortunately more than once. And my last luxury regret is buying an item because you feel like you need it in your closet. And if you guys have ever been there, definitely leave a comment down below because about a year or two ago, I ended up purchasing, and I'll show you, an Armez belt. And I love this belt. It's reversible. I think if you're going to get one luxury belt, I still recommend this belt because I, I, I honestly do love how it looks and how it feels. But I realized I don't wear belts. And I, I knew before that I didn't wear belts, but I thought that if I bought the belt, I would wear the belt. And it definitely, when I first bought it, I did try to incorporate it into my outfits. But after a while, I just stopped using it. And maybe, like, I feel like, you know, sometimes I do use it. I haven't used it, well, it's been summer and stuff. But I probably use it maybe one or two times out of the year uh, during the season. And it's just really disappointing because I feel like you need to realize, like, you're going to see stuff. You know, you're going to watch videos and you're going to be influenced or, you know, you're going to see something and be like, that looks so pretty. I want that. But you really, and we all really need to just take a step back, think about it. Does it fit our lifestyle? I went into it knowing that I'm not a belt person, but I thought if I needed just one belt, if I just needed one belt to last me for years and years and years, this is the belt I would buy. And my logic there and my reasoning just shouldn't have been a like a thought because at the end of the day, I don't wear belts. So why am I purchasing something? Because I, I, I feel like I need one belt in my like, you know, luxury collection. I, I feel like I need one luxury belt. Like, no, that doesn't make sense because at the end of the day, you're not a belt person. So you will not wear belts. So you're just paying tons of money to not wear something. And I feel like that's just something that I, I came to a realization and that I need to do better of, and you know, I need to be more mindful of why I'm making purchases. And even if it's, you know, I, I love it because I do love the belt. There's nothing wrong with the belt. I would not, I would 100% recommend it. It's just, it just doesn't fit my lifestyle. I'm not a belt person. I don't wear belts. Um, I don't feel the need to wear belts. Maybe at one point in my life I will, but it's, that's where you should buy it later. It's not something you should buy in anticipation of, unless, you know, like, no, I just feel like you shouldn't buy something in anticipation of you thinking you're going to need it or, um, you know, I think it's you buy what you need in the moment and what you're using in the moment so that you get the most wear out of it. And that's just something that I realized that, you know, you buy stuff because you think you need it. And in reality, you then you're just buying it to buy it and you didn't actually need it because I didn't need the belt. I don't use belts. I, I like the belt. And I don't think to, even to this day, I wouldn't sell it because I still do really like it but I just realized that you really need to be more mindful about what you're purchasing and again this could be so basic you know like this is obviously like when you're buying something you should think about it but really like I would just stick to my motto don't buy it in anticipation of buy it in the moment of like if you're using it in the moment like say if you're a belt person now and you're always gonna be a belt person then buy it, but don't buy something because you think you need it or you think later on you'll be a, a belt person in this scenario. Okay, everyone, that is it for this video. I am, hopefully you learned something. Share your luxury regrets below. Remember to enter the giveaway if you haven't. I really do appreciate all my new subscribers. You know, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching my videos, interacting with my videos, interacting with me on Instagram. I do have an Instagram and you can follow that at underscore New York Sensation. I'll leave it down below. Also, if you guys want to see a specific video, always you can leave a comment or, you know, DM me through Instagram if you feel comfortable more that way. But I just love hearing from you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. Bye!